Hi, everyone. It's Mark Rep, technology trainer of the Poor Here in Schools, and today we're going to give you a power user's guide to using YouTube. The first thing I'm going to do is to log into YouTube and then click on this little drop down menu here in the top left corner. Now you'll see that I have a channel that I've set up. Because I have a channel and because I've subscribed to various other channels that are out there, it'll actually say what to watch. Based on the channels that I've subscribed to so far, if I click on what to watch and I scroll down, you'll see that these are various channels that I've subscribed to and videos on those channels that I can get to. So it's actually very easy to get to content that I find useful. So I got to that by clicking on this little drop down. It'll also show you all of my subscriptions. Click on My Subscriptions. I can see the uploads that have recently come down the pike from various channels that I subscribe to. There's also music out there. This is music that is recommended from various channels that I've subscribed to. Back up to this three-lined button, my history is found here. Every video I've ever been to is actually logged and you can see everything that I've been on, all the different sites that I've been on, all the videos that I've watched. All of that can easily be found right there. Watch later would be any video that I've decided to watch later on and have earmarked to be able to do that. Now because I have a YouTube channel, I've actually created videos on YouTube that I've uploaded. Most of them of course are instructional video tutorials because that's what I do for a living and all of those videos are now stored on my YouTube channel. You'll see my uploads as well as the videos that I've liked. One of the things I did was create my own little logo right here and I did that in Photoshop Elements following a little guide that I downloaded through the internet which told exactly the dimensions to make that logo. I can click on this pencil and I can edit my channel icon if I need to by going to edit on Google Plus. I can drag the photo here and I could change that cover anytime I want. Now I want to take you into the technique of creating playlists. If you click on the playlists within your channel, you'll see that I've created some playlists already. And playlists are one of the greatest things about using YouTube as a power user. You can create a playlist and then add videos to each individual playlist that you've created. And you'll see that I've created four different playlists so far. To create a new playlist, just go to playlists, click on New Playlist and give it a title. Video Tutorials seems like a good one. And then you can make that playlist public, unlisted, or private. Right now I'll make it private because it's not quite ready for prime time. Later on I can then change it to public. So I'll click Create. And there's certainly no need to make all of your playlists public. Many times playlists are just for your own usage anyway, so keep that in mind. Now that I've created this video tutorials playlist, I can now click Add Videos. Now I can start typing in videos that I might want to find tutorials on, such as Moodle for example. Here's an example. I'll click on that video and then click Add Videos. Now that's the first video that I've just added to my video tutorials playlist. I'll add one more. I'll type in It's Learning. Click the search button. Scroll down until you find one that you think will be useful. I'll click on this one. And you don't have to click on the video button. Just click anywhere in this general area and then click Add Videos. If you want to add more than one, hold down your control key on the keyboard and then you can selectively click on any video that you want. When you're done, click Add Videos you can always change your playlist settings by just clicking right here playlist settings and one of the things you can do is then change the playlist privacy to public but I'll leave it alone for right now now clicking on channels up here at the top will allow you to see all the channels that you've subscribed to so far if you want to unsubscribe to any of these channels just click on subscribe and click unsubscribe now let's do a search for a video that we can subscribe to I'm going to go to this one right here called EdTech Teacher. If I click on the link, it'll take me right to that YouTube channel, and now I can click Subscribe. If I want to see specific videos that this particular person has created, I can click on the Videos link, and then I can scroll through the video tutorials that they've created on that channel. Sometimes this can be several pages in length. 
Now, if I want to contact this person directly, I can click About, and then I could go to that person's Google Plus link, or their website, or sometimes there will be a blog here. I could view their email address, and if I want to search that particular channel for a specific video, I can type in a keyword and then press Enter on my keyboard. And it will then bring up all the videos with that particular keyword included. Let's say that I wanted to type in YouTube, and I wanted to find a different YouTube tutorial. Here's one, Custom YouTube Thumbnail Tutorial 2015. I can click on that. Now if I want to subscribe to this, I would click on the subscribe button. But if I just wanted to add this one video to a playlist that I've created so far, I would click Add To, scroll down, and if I have many different playlists, I could just type in a keyword, like EdTech. I'll click on that playlist, Add To, Add Tech, and that video has been added. Now if I want to get back to my playlists, I can click on this drop-down arrow and go to any of the playlists that I've created most recently. If I click More, you'll see that I have these over here at the right. But if I just want to go to my EdTech playlist, I can click on it. And here's that one video that I just added to that playlist. So that's how easy it is to add a video to a playlist and how easy it is to create a playlist. And now what if I want to share a video with someone else? Well, for this video right here, I can click Share. And then there are different ways that I can share this video. I can drag my mouse across it. I can right click and choose copy and then I can paste this into an email. So I can click on the compose button, I'll type in great video, I'll send it to myself, and I'll actually create a link out of this text. Check this out and I'll insert the link, right click, paste, and click OK. And there you go. Now I'll send that and that's how you share a link to a YouTube video. Now there are other ways that I could also share this video. I could embed it into a website. If I click the Embed tab, I can right click and copy this. And I have a Google site of my own. I will edit this page, create a space for it. I'll call it Great YouTube Tips. Now I'll click on the HTML button, and I'll just right click or just control V and paste that iframe code right in there and click update. And now if I click save, you'll see that that video has now been embedded into the site. So those are some different ways that you can share videos as well. Back to my drop down button, I actually have more than 80 subscriptions to different YouTube channels. If I go under subscriptions and click more, I can scroll through them and also see how much new content has been added to each channel. This number at the right is the number of videos that have been added recently. I can also manage my subscriptions. and If I click on Manage Subscriptions, this is where I can control whether updates are sent to me through email and whether I can monitor the activity for each site. If I want to unsubscribe to anything, I can click on the Unsubscribe button, for example and I can just browse each channel from right here. Just click on the little link and I can go right to that site from there. Now if I wanted to contact one of these people I could click the About button and if I wanted to I could send this person a message. These are all of his links. This is how I can send him a direct message. And click Send. Back to my channel. Again I have What to Watch my subscriptions, and right up here at the top I can click on my name and I can click on Creator Studio or this little asterisk button, my Facebook and Twitter. Now if I go back to my channel, I can see home, all the videos that I've uploaded, my playlists, channels I've subscribed to, discussions I can have, and these include all of the comments that I've made on different YouTube channels. Clicking the About button is where I've added different websites. For example, my blog, my screencast library, and my Google Plus link. I'll click Done. There are popular channels on YouTube over here at the right. 
that I may subscribe to in the future. And now that I've created this little logo banner, these links are clickable. Now if I click on my videos tab here, I can show all of the videos that I've created and uploaded to the site either through a thumbnail view like this or I can click on this little button over at the right and view them in the form of a list which tells exactly what date each video was uploaded and how many views each one has received. Now you'll also notice at the top here that there's a video manager. If I click on that button I can manage the videos that I've uploaded so far to my YouTube channel. I can edit them and over at the right there's a drop down arrow that would allow me to edit the information and the settings of each one of these videos. I could edit the audio. I could make annotations to each video, add subtitles and closed captioning, and I could also download each one as an MP4. Of course the final option is to delete any of the videos that are completely outdated. I won't go into a complete video editing tutorial, but suffice to say if I clicked on the edit button right now, it would allow me to scroll down and change anything about that video. In this case, I'm clicking right here on the Info and Settings tab, so I could change the info and the settings of this video. Enhancements allows you to edit specific attributes of that video, such as I could add slow motion, I could trim parts of the video and make it shorter, I could auto fix any problems, one click fix for lighting and color, I could stabilize the video, and if I'm not happy with what I've done, I can revert to the original. Here's the audio editing tab, where I can add ad-free music to my video, and that will include all kinds of different copyright-friendly audio clips that could be added to that video. For example, ambient, over 150,000 plus total to choose from. Annotations is interesting. If I clicked on the Annotations tab, I could add an annotation, such as a speech bubble, a note. I could add a title to the video, a spotlight or label, and it can all happen right here in the video editing portion of YouTube. You don't have to pay extra for software. When you're done, you can click Apply Changes, and you have edited your YouTube video. I'm going to go back to the Video Manager in the Video Manager tab over here at the left I can get to various aspects of the Creator Studio such as the dashboard here, Video Manager is here where you have live events and you could enable live streaming, playlists, I could search my playlists as well, all of my search history, all of the videos that I've ever liked. This is also where you can get to your community and see messages that you've received, subscribers, and this is also where you can contribute subtitles and closed captioning. Under Channel, you have specific settings. Analytics will allow you to analyze your videos and see how many views you're getting, estimated minutes watched by your subscribers, whether they were engaged or not, how many shares you've received, favorites, Basically anything about your videos on your channel can be found right here under Analytics. Last but not least, you can click on Create and you can browse and download free music for your project right here. It all happens in the Creator Studio. So that is a fairly informative look at the power features of YouTube. Probably a lot more than you would ever imagined are available within YouTube. This has been a Power User's Guide to YouTube. Hope you've enjoyed it. Join me again for another tech tip. I'm Mark Rapp.